Joining us now, live and exclusive on the news track, is senior BJP leader Ravi Shankar Prasad, who's been leading the BJP's charge against this Congress uh, Black Friday protest. Ravi Shankar ji, welcome to the news track. You've got Rahul Gandhi, Congress member of parliament from Wayanad, claiming Thank you. democracy is dead. Rahul and Priyanka both out on the streets. Uh, the BJP furious with these charges, especially when Rahul says democracy is something which is in the past tense. India as a country, as a functioning democracy, he thinks is finished and done with. Utterly irresponsible, shameful. What I said in the morning, let me repeat. Is there democracy in the Congress party? Does Congress party hold regular elections? Can the Congress create leaders beyond Sonia Gandhi, Rahul Gandhi and Priyanka Gandhi? Therefore, the party in the family, the leadership in the family and what the National Herald case demonstrates, the party's property should also be in the family. That is the democracy of Mr. Rahul Gandhi. The second point I would like to highlight, Rahul. Agar desh ke log Congress party ko vote nahi dete hain, to hum kya kare? Hum unke liye vote dilwaaye? They lost 2014. They lost 2019. The most virulent, virulent and scandalous campaign Rahul Gandhi unleashed, unheard of in democratic India against the Prime Minister Narendra Modi. Chaukidar, I can't repeat. He was given a bigger drubbing. The sister went to UP, Ladki Hun, Lad Sakti Hun, got hardly one or two seats. The same is the case elsewhere. Therefore, if people are not voting to you, you are blaming Election Commission? Indian democracy? Grossly unfair and direct insult to the people of India. Ra Rahul Gandhi's charge on that today, is, which I he need actually to highlight likened on what's happening. Ravi Shankar ji to what mm. happened in Germany under Hitler saying Hitler bhi aise election jeetta tha give me the entire infrastructure I'll tell you how to win elections uh, which is a complete stretch linking what's happening to what was happening at the time of Nazi Germany in the realm of Hitler. Yehi to mein aapse keh raha hon Rahul ji ye kya Rahul Gandhi bol raha hai ye to unki sahi niyat saamne a gai I don't believe in democracy. Give me the infrastructure, I will win. It is an insult to the people of India. It is an insult to the democratic instinct of India. It is an insult to the democratic tradition of India. But let me uh, uh, raise the one more, more particular point. He has talked a lot about institutions. If he does not get bail or his cases are quashed, not quashed, then the judiciary is not fair. If he does not able to win elections, then the election commission is not fair. Therefore, if the system works to his advantage, keeps quiet, I shut on his corruption, then the system is all right. But Mr. Rahul Gandhi, I would like to gently tell you, under Congress, Indian democracy has become an epitome of corruption. Under the leadership of Narendra Modi, Gates of middlemen are closed in the decision making. Defense contracts are being done given in a fair manner. So is the direct benefit transfer. So is the, all the things. One thing I would like to tell um, uh, Rahul Kamal, and that's very important. He talks of institutions. During COVID, you have seen how he made fun of vaccines of India. How he did not show himself he has taken vaccine in India. A great initiative of Indian scientists. Then Rahul Gandhi today has been irresponsible. And I completely echo what Amit Shah ji said today. This date was deliberately chosen to somehow appease a particular vote community by wearing blacks. 